G'day, welcome to Bitcoin Bounce. My name is Joseph and today I'm here with Dion. And today we're going to look at a very interesting video uh, that Steve from Crypto Crew University has released. And in that he talks about this double B signal. So yesterday we looked at the hash uh, ribbons uh, indicator and it was so interesting um, uh, to see how Dion just explained to us how that uh, s a signal doesn't come often uh, but it gave us a buy signal right now and then the very next day Steve comes out with a video where he also refers back to the uh, the hash ribbon so I think it's a very important signal uh, for us today uh, when we um, I'll finish looking at Steve. Uh, Dion is going to do analysis for us. And he's also going to talk about how the EMA is playing a role in all of this. And, you know, we really believe this is a time for us uh, to, to buy Bitcoin and to get into the market. And so that's why we want to make double share before we put our investments down. Remember, uh, the only investment advice I can give you is that you need to like and subscribe. Uh, but uh, the rest of all the information is just for educational and entertainment purposes. Let's listen to Steve. We're going to be jumping into this double B strategy. What this is, is the hash ribbons, right? The simple way to know what the hash ribbons is, is it's based on the miners. Are the miners capitulating or are they accumulating? That's what this tells us, okay? They're capitulating here during this period here and they're buying, they're accumulating when you get a signal, all right? So very simply put, it's been relatively quiet for a very long time in Bitcoin until recently. We started showing some signs that miners were capitulating. We had a price decline from upwards of 70K all the way down to 17.5K. A little over 60 days ago, we called that the bottom was in fact in. Is this double B strategy playing into my opinion changing? More on that in a moment. For the hash ribbons, you can go back in history. There have been a lot of hash ribbing signals that we can go back in history and take a look. Now, during bear markets, you're going to get a lot more of these double B signals flashing. During bull markets, it should be relatively quiet, especially near our peak. Now that you know we're in a bear market, you can be prepared for some more signals. But how accurate are they? Should we listen to them? How much should we pay attention to them? Now, if we look at just the facts, we look at what's happening here. Most of the time, or the high majority of the time, where we flash this double B signal, we have price rising, okay? Now, what you can see is that there are some outliers. This one, and this one, and another one that we're going to talk about. But outside of the outliers, more than often, when, when you get the signal, price rises. When you get the spy signal, price rises. When you get the signal, price rises. And again, you're not going to get these signals in the midst of a bull market. You're going to get them when we're consolidating, when price is moving sideways, when people are accumulating, specifically the miners. When the miners are accumulating, we get these signals. Now, what we look at is how accurate is this? So if we look at the high majority of the time we're getting these signals, price rises, well, it's probably a good time to pay attention to these signals. But now let's look at, well, how often are these signals inaccurate? As we look into the facts, you can see that there's one outlier double B signal here, there's another, and this is all, again back in 2011. The hash ribbons didn't exist then. This is in retrospect, but again in 2015. And there are, a, there's one more in 2018. And then there's this outlier here. We can find a common theme with these outlier signals. Most of the time when you buy, price just continues to rise, right? But on occasion, we buy price rises for a moment, we get very excited, and then there's a very large crash. What you'll notice, and take a look at the charts and see if you see what I see, right? We're in a bear market, we get a buy signal, everybody's happy, we go from, you know, 3K up to 14K, we fall down dramatically in prices from 14K down to here, and we get this other buy signal here. Everybody's like, hmm, okay, I'll buy here, price rises, everybody gets very excited, and then it plummets even more. This pattern is incredibly similar 
to the one we just discussed here. Do you see what I'm seeing? What will you notice about this signal we got here and this signal we got here, it's right before we double bottomed. Meaning we had this consolidation period. The market's moving sideways. People are accumulating. We get a couple of these blue dots, really good, thumbs up. And then we get our last one here, price rises and everybody's like, ah, oh, that, that's it, this is it. This is the start of the bull market. And then we crashed. But we didn't crash to any random price. We actually crashed to a double bottom. All right. That's what we did in 2015. In 2018, 2019, you can see the same thing, right? We bottomed here, clear as day. We rallied in prices. This was an outlier. This was an ABC correction. Again, this was not sustainable. If you watched our channel, we were all over this move. And from 14K, we crashed down when we came down to here. And everyone's like, ah, this is it. That's the bottom. We're going to buy here. Everything's going to be perfect. We went up in prices. Everybody got excited and we crashed down. We didn't crash down to a random price. We crashed down to a double bottom. The outliers are telling us like, hey, these outlier strategies were actually a pretty good time to buy as well. Even if you bought here and we double bottomed, you would have picked up more during this bear market you would have bought at some very, very strategic times. So it comes to this one, right? And you may be asking, well, what is the double B? Why are you calling it a double B? Well, it's a buy signal and it's blue, double B. So here's what I'll say. As you look at this signal, we're getting one now and you're wondering, hey, is this really a good buying opportunity? Should I wait? Here's the big picture. Bitcoin's price is right around the price it was five years ago. That's a fact, a cold, hard fact. So if you're asking yourself, hey, is it a good time to buy Bitcoin now that it's the same price as it was five years ago? I think you have your answer. If you're thinking, should I buy more Bitcoin now? We flashed this double B strategy. It's been fascinatingly accurate. When it wasn't accurate, it was right before we technically double bottomed, except for this one. I think you've got to think about it like this. In a bear market, people make the same mistake over and over. And again, I've been in many, many bear markets in all different industries, right? I started in the stock market in when I was 16 years old and my first bear market, I just, I, I was ridiculous. I made every mistake you could. Looking back on it, it's, <laughs> it's incredibly humorous. But what I learned after bear market, after bear market, after bear market, was that everyone makes the same common mistake. The biggest mistake people make is they don't buy. They're waiting for prices to drop even lower and they don't buy at all. If you closed your eyes in any bear market in human history and bought, instead of holding and sitting on your hands, you would have looked like a superhero. And that's any bear market. Bear markets are tough because the news and the media makes it seem like we're always going to drop more, that there's always worse times coming around the corner. But the markets always recover. They always do. Nothing goes straight up and nothing goes straight down. So saying that, I'll say this. This buy signal, does it mean that price is going to rally to new all-time highs? No. If you look at all of these signals in the past, we should get many signals during this bear market. This is just the first one, all right? But what we do know is this cross that we had with the 110 and the 300, it happened here right at the market bottom. And also if we go back, it happened here at the 2015 bottom when the yellow line crosses the red. Those things we do have as a fact. Another fact is that Bitcoin price is right around the price it was five years ago. If you take all of that into consideration, and then there's a lot of facts in the charts that we reached the bottom in this price here at 17.5, uh, we called for the bottom a little over 60 days ago. Has my opinion changed that the bottom is in? What I will say in the big picture is my opinion hasn't changed after 60 days. There's a lot of information in the charts that are still suggesting the bottom is in. After 60 days, it's still a stronger argument that the bottom is in. There are some charts that scare me that could spiral out of control that I'll cover in my next video. But again, I think that this is legitimate. Does it mean that price is going to go straight up? No. Does it mean that this is probably a good time to buy in a bear market? Yes. Hi, Dion. 
You saw what Steve was saying. What do you think? Hi, Joseph. Yes, so I agree with him 100%. That is a, a awesome indicator. I've got it on the chart here. Let me just share my screen for you. So the buy signal that we got was here. Yeah, the one thing that we can add to this is just a, a good spot to buy and to ent enter this trade. So for that, I like the EMA ribbon. So we can have a look at that. And a good spot for that um, to, to get a good entry is if you look at the one hour, um, let me just turn off all my other info there. Um, so on the one hour chart, the, the EMA ribbon is also very powerful. You can see where it flips. So how that works is it's got a, a few a few bands. These are all EMA bands, and the top one is or the one is green. The two out, outlying ones, one is green, one is red. I've colored them like that. They, I think they're normally orange and whatever color. But the two outer bands are the ones that you should look at. So once this EMA ribbon flips is always and it, it gets confirmed so you'll see here the green was on top red at the bottom so once it flipped the green is at the bottom and the red is on top so that normally doesn't happen often same as the hash ribbons it's it's not often that this happens it takes a while to happen and once that has happened you always wait for just a pullback or a touch or just to see that this ribbon has come to be tested this flip and once it has been tested then normally you go down as you can see or you go up for quite some time and it takes then quite a lot of time for that to flip again so it's very similar to the hash ribbons let me just turn that off now so it's also just a, a good uh, once you've got the signal on the hash ribbon then this would give you a good entry so if we just zoom into what's happening at the moment so we're waiting for this ribbon to flip to the top side so until that has happened you you might still be able to get bitcoin at a better price down below we'll only know once this is actually flipped 100 percent so it, it's like indecisive at the moment you can see we're back and forth back and forth but we haven't had a, a definite flip at the moment the green is on top but the red is not at the bottom yet so we're waiting for that and then we would wait for a retest of that ribbon and that would then be the time that we actually know we're going so for now it would just be a good time as we spoke about previously just if you've got say a thousand dollars you want to invest then just do bit by bit um, but don't put in everything yet until we've got that retested confirmation and this ribbon has flipped so we've got the signal from um, from Steve that is a good time to buy so you can start buying now just gradually just start buying in 10% uh, of your capital that you're wanting to allocate to this Bitcoin purchase but your confirmation would be once this hash ribbon has flipped and is tested and then we know we're starting to definitely go up then then I would throw everything that's that's left in your budget um, no financial advice but then I would put the rest in once we've got that confirmed flip and that should then see us to we can look at a previous time when it's flipped to the upside you can see how we flipped came back retested and then we had a lot of upside after that so that's what we're waiting for yeah on the on the um, EMA ribbon that's it Joseph yeah that's that's really awesome I love that uh, EMA ribbon I've had it on my charts I think when I started trading Forex in 2007 it was one of the very first indicators I started using and especially if you can make sure you don't put it on a too short a time frame uh, the one hour chart is a very good uh, time frame you can even put it on a four hour chart just to make double sure to get confirmation so um, uh, another strategy how you can also uh, start to buy is if you would take let's say you got a thousand dollars and you want to divide maybe it up into pieces of 50 and once a week when you see that dip on an RSI uh, then you uh, buy every time there's another 50 add to your position uh, and then what will happen your average entry price will possibly be a lot better than if you just one time just buy uh, all all of your cash in bulk uh, because there will definitely be still some um, dips uh, in Bitcoin the expectation is not for it to just to shoot up and to make a massive run to the upside uh, there's a lot of macroeconomic factors uh, that is kind of prohibiting the growth of Bitcoin that's actually healthy because that's what we uh, want to see and for me as a DCA trader that's also uh, very beneficial 
awesome. Thank you, Dion. I think this was uh, an awesome session. And uh, uh, we're going to be back. Um, I still uh, want to do another video today. Uh, we're going to look at the trading parrot and we're asking a question. How much money should you invest if you want to make $4,000 in a month in DCA bots? Awesome. Thank you, Dion. Great. Thanks, Joseph. That sounds exciting. See you just now. Cheers.